There are many ways you can choose to support a charitable organization that's close to your heart. You can choose to do so after your passing in your will or your trust, or you can choose to do so today during your lifetime. One popular way for a donor to donate to a charity of their choice is to use a donor advised fund. This is a type of charitable giving where you donate cash or another asset, say some stock that's really increased in value since the time I inherited or bought it, and I can donate those to the fund and in exchange, I'll receive an immediate deduction on my income tax return. That donor advised fund will grow tax-free over time and I, the donor, will get to advise the fund about how those funds should be used and when to actually distribute them to the charity. Other ways you can give during your lifetime would be with a trust, say a charitable lead trust or a charitable remainder trust, or you can do a simple cash gift or a gift of another type of asset. You can do this with cash or another asset or even an IRA, and IRA giving works really, really well. So the IRS rules say that once you turn 72 years old, you get to start taking required minimum distributions out of your IRA whether you want to or not, and you have to pay taxes on those distributions whether you want to or not. If you don't need those distributions, a really good option might be to roll your IRA over to the qualified charitable organization of your choice, such as the Food Bank of Iowa. You can exclude the amount gifted on your tax return, and this is called a qualified charitable deduction. One way to make the most of your lifetime gift is through the Endow Iowa program. To qualify for the program, three factors must apply. First, the gift must be given to a qualified Iowa community foundation, such as the Food Bank of Iowa. Second, the gift must be made to an Iowa charity. And third, the gift must be permanent, so you can't change your mind and take it back later. Eligible gifts will receive an Endow Iowa tax credit equal to 25% of the gifted amount, which is really significant. And that deduction is limited to $300,000 per individual or $600,000 for a couple. So the cap is pretty high. There are many charities that are eligible for the Endow Iowa program, including the Food Bank of Iowa. You can also choose to include a charity in your will, revocable living trust, or as a beneficiary of one or more of your assets. So for example, I might choose to name a qualified charitable organization as beneficiary of my IRA. That way, my heirs won't need to pay any tax on it when they inherit it. And it'll also reduce the value of my estate for federal estate tax purposes.